Hey everybody, I'm Richard. Welcome to Real Men Craft 2. So today it is Monday, August 28th, and uh, I got a lot to do in this video. I'm gonna do a kit up. I'm gonna kit up a new uh, diamond painting. Yes, I put gem, well, I'll tell you all about that and what we're gonna do. Come back after the intro. Everybody, welcome back. So uh, it is so hot here today in, San in Sacramento. It's 108 degrees. It's miserable. It's terrible. I'm drinking uh, iced coffee. I'm drinking blackberry lemonade water. Uh, so yeah, did you hear that? Pew. Sorry, everybody. Uh, it is. 4.15 in the afternoon here. I know this video is coming late, but I had to get as much as I could because uh, <laughs> I have to be at the hospital at 4.30 in the morning for my seven o'clock surgery. And speaking of my surgery, I wanna tell all of you, thank you so much that have been sending uh, positive uh, thoughts and prayers. And uh, yeah, I just wanna get this done so uh, I can get back to normal. So first off, uh, I've got a bunch of shout outs I wanna uh, welcome to the channel. And speaking of welcoming you to the channel, if there's any of you that have just stumbled on this video or a lot of you that have watched content and not done it, I would appreciate it if you uh, throw me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Just hit that subscribe button right there and ring that bell. So uh, I'm gonna throw on my readers really quick. Oh, I've, well, I'll show you that I've got um, friend mail. Um, I will give you a, a Jeremy as the Beast update. And uh, hey, we're going to do, uh, we're going to kit up a new kit that I'm going to start. And I'll show you what that is. But first, I got some new shout outs uh, that I want to welcome to the channel. So in no particular order, let's welcome to the channel Diamonds by Tita, Disney Freak 617, Bonnie Hengbold. Amy Campbell, Malik Ray, Cindy Emery, which uh, Cindy um, is brand new to the channel and she sent me four pictures of diamond paintings that she has finished and I'm gonna pop up those uh, here in a, in a little bit. And then I wanna welcome Mama Psyche or Psyche. Sorry if I slaughtered the last name, but uh, welcome to the channel everybody. Um, so I'm going to pop up um, these pictures that uh, Cindy Emery has completed, and they're absolutely gorgeous. So uh, here's everybody's favorite. Um, <laughs> yeah, we all love this movie. Here's her uh, big giant painting of the, the characters from The Wizard of Oz. I absolutely love this. I've seen this canvas in so many companies' catalogs, um, but they've never they've never offered it big enough to where the details would be great. And then um, this other one, I love, love, love this. I just called it a warrior woman. I don't know what the title is, but this painting is absolutely gorgeous. Yes. Oh. Cindy did a beautiful job on that. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And then uh, here's two more that she did. Absolutely beautiful. Just beautiful. And then this Chinese, this Chinese landscape, I actually have that canvas. Mine is a lot bigger though. Mine is a, a 45 by a 130. Mine's huge, yeah, and I have not started that. 
So Cindy, thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome to the channel and thank you for sending me those pictures to share with everybody. And uh, speaking of sharing with everybody, uh, I got a package in the mail the other day by Kelly Cyberling. <laughs> And uh, look what she made me, you guys. I was gonna do an opening on, uh, you know, uh, an opening, but I wanted to know what was in it. So I opened it the other night when it came. Uh, it came like three or four days ago. It came on Saturday. No, it actually came Thursday or Friday, but this is so cool. This is uh, nine and three quarter inches by 14 inches. And uh, yeah, it's funny because a little over two years ago, I did this as a 45 by a 45 square painting and sent it to Maddie, um, Tammy's daughter who lives in North Carolina for her Halloween uh, slash birthday gifts. So when I opened this, I was so happy to see this. I've never seen this as, a, um, you know, an oblong, but look what she sent me. Kelly, you did a great job. I love, love, love this picture. It is a picture of trick-or-treaters, trick-or-treating on Halloween night going up the scary hill. This is a scary, scary tree with the moon behind it. But if you guys look, there's a skull. There's an eye there, there's an eye there, the nose and then the mouth with the, with the teeth. Kelly, you did a beautiful job. Beautiful painting. Thank you so much, Kelly Cyberling. Uh, she has, she told me that uh, she has been <laughs> working on uh, a diamond painting for me. And Kelly lives in uh, Pennsylvania, where Hershey Park is, where I want to go so bad. And uh, I will. <laughs> yes, I will one day. So Kelly, thank you for the uh, creepy Halloween tree. Um, I'm going to show you all how far I've gotten on Jeremy as the Beast. Uh, I'm actually almost done with it. Uh, so here he is. Uh, yeah, here he is rolled up on the, uh, <laughs> the rolling pin. He's so pretty. It's absolutely, see, I'm up to his face. I've got into the rainbow. I've done the bottom of his uh, beast's costume, the hair. Yes, I love this. And this is by Rhinestone Goddess Creations. She did it, her name is Lauren. She did a phenomenal job on this canvas. So yeah, I'm up to about right here. So this is all I have left, you guys. Yeah, he's so, he's so cute. And the canvas is absolutely beautiful. So uh, I'm gonna roll that back up on the rolling pin because uh, I am getting ready to kit up another really big uh, custom canvas. And this one was done for me by uh, Forever, uh, ever moment, not forever moment, but uh, it was done for me by Ever Moment. And um, those of you that have never ordered from Ever Moment, you really should because their canvases come so beautifully packaged in gorgeous, gorgeous purple tubes. Um, yeah, in fact, I did an opening of both of these canvases. But I need to get both of these done by Halloween and mailed out. So I gotta start these. So I'm putting this little guy on uh, hold for a little bit because it doesn't have to, it, it doesn't have to be uh, framed and everything till Christmas. So uh, let me put this back over on the table. I'll be right back, you guys. So yeah, uh, so once again, this canvas uh, is a custom that I ordered from Ever Moment. It's a 50 by 75. And it is the cover of a book that I literally, out of five stars, I gave a 10 to. <laughs> so yeah, this is a 50 by 75. And uh, these are the drills in these two beautifully packaged uh, packages. It, like I said, is a 50 by 75. Um, this one is a round. This is the canvas. I've showed you all of this before. This is an Ever Moment 
and a beautiful, beautiful, soft, soft canvas. It's huge, it's 50 by 75. I cannot wait to start this. But it uh, says the author's name right there, Solomon Petchers. It's got a picture of the two uh, young boys that literally made me cry. Um, this is a beautiful, beautiful uh, coming of age tale that takes place in the fall between two young boys who uh, befriend each other through school. And they're both um, the victims of everybody bullying on them, but they uh, befriend each other and they uh, do some investigating on the old man that lives in the big scary house next to them. It's not a, it's not a scary book at all. It's a beautiful uh, coming of age tale. It has Halloween in it and uh, it's got animals. It's got a dog, a cat. It, it, just a beautiful, beautiful tale. But um, I wanted to get this done and uh, mail to Solomon by uh, Halloween slash Christmas time. So we are going to pack it, or not package, we're gonna kit it up. So uh, I've already got, here's the first 30 colors labeled. And uh, I will zoom in so you guys can see. This is the, how they, how ever moment, they send you these stickers. It's got the number, it's got the symbol, and then the DMC color. Uh, and then uh, I have another, oh, sorry about that, you guys. And then I have a second uh, case with uh, the six, there's 36 colors, and then here's, uh, it's got three ABs, um, so I'm looking forward to that. So, uh, yeah, um, once again, I wanna say thank you to Kelly Cyberling for sending me the spooky Halloween tree, I love it. That's one of my favorite uh, Halloween Halloween image clip arts. Uh, I have it in a, a vintage Halloween um, screensaver on my computer with like 140 Halloween images that I uh, put into a, um, an, a photo album and then put it on my screensaver. So that runs um, on my computer from September to October. So uh, yeah, once again, thank you so much, Kelly Cyberling. And uh, hey, I'm gonna um, pop you guys around again. And uh, what else did I wanna say? Oh, a lot of you have been asking questions about uh, the earrings. Um, I get my seed beads. Now, uh, that is a whole nother story. I have got over 1,700 colors of size 11 seed beads. They're all categorized, they're all uh, stored. Uh, I, I, I know exactly but <laughs> where to go to get a color. I know which tray they're at and where they're at. But um, I get all of my seed beads. Now I get them um, from Potomac Bead Company or from Kelly Dale over at Off the Beaded Path. And uh, she's in North Carolina. And uh, Potomac Beads are, uh, they've got four locations, but they're on the East Coast too. Um, yeah, and um, I buy my seed beads uh, in bulk packages because you know that's what I do for a living. I use tons of seed beads. Um, but yeah, a lot of you have asked, you know, Richard, where do you buy your seed beads and what kind are they? I, I only use Toho, which is T-O-H-O, -O, or Miyuki, which is M-I-Y-U-K-I. -I. Um, they're the best uh, seed beads. I stay away from seed beads that come on Hanks, and I try not to use Czech uh, seed beads. I don't like them. They're not uniform in size. And uh, so yeah, that answers that. And then uh, another question was, um, I had it written down here, um, but now I can't find the piece of paper. So uh, <laughs> I'm gonna pop you guys back around and hey, I'm gonna move the camera down here and we're gonna kit this up. So um, yeah, I've already got the stickers that, with the numbers on the container. And then uh, you guys all know that uh, <laughs> I don't keep mine in numerical order. I'll show you how I, uh, how I work mine into my tray. So, hey, you guys, I'm gonna pop the camera on pause for a minute. I'm gonna grab my little tray over there, which is over on the big table, and I'll be right back. 
Okay, so let's uh, start this. So this is the first uh, package. This is uh, the first package of two. Uh, let's see. I love the way, like I said, this is my fifth and sixth um, custom that they've done for me. This is a square and I'm, I said it was a round earlier, but it's not, it's a square. I ordered both squares. So um, yeah, I'm really, really, really excited. So right here, this is what's kind of cool. Um, they put the number on here, you know, the, the, the 500, and then the 500's right here. So I put them in my tray from the lowest number up to the highest number, and then I'll show you guys what I do with them. So I'm gonna open the 500. Let's uh, start to kit this. So, um, yeah, I was talking to, uh, <laughs> I was talking to Deborah, or not Deborah, Debbie, uh, otherwise known as Cajun, over at Diamond Painting Cajun yesterday. She uh, had her, her uh, you know, chit chat with me live on Saturday on Sunday. So I popped in right at the last minute. Oh, I'm gonna pop these in here. Um, yeah, I popped in to them at the last minute. So everybody that was on there, uh, it was fun to chat with you all and say hi uh, once again. I want to say thank you to everybody that uh, wished me luck with my surgery. I'm just looking forward to. Uh, getting it done. So yeah, let's do 413. Yeah. So I know how a lot of you kit. Um, I know people like Diamond Grandma love those little uh, Ziploc bags. I hate those Ziploc bags because those zipper bags, oh dang it, and I just spilt five drills. Oh, and I got them all right here. Um, yeah, those little Ziploc bags, those uh, polyethylene bags are terrible for static. You know, everybody says, oh, it's perfectly because they're already kitted up. I don't get how you think those are kitted up. I think what everybody means is that they're already in little Ziploc bags and you don't have to do it again. But, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't like those. Uh, I do not, do not like those little Ziploc bags. Nope. I love to do it this way because, see, there's no static at all. Uh, sorry about that, you guys. I had to answer my phone. Like I always tell you, it never fails. Um, when I'm doing a video or something, my phone rings. But I had to answer that. That was my uh, hospital about my check-in process tomorrow morning. So, yeah, I just want to get this done. I can't wait. Hopefully, uh, you know, the pain is going to be gone mostly. So I have one more 453. Uh, yeah, I just can't wait to get it done. I really, really like the colors in this painting. So hopefully all of you are uh, busy working on something. I know you're all busy working on something. Tammy Ellis, uh, your package went out today. Yeah. I sent uh, Tammy that big purple <clears throat> 60 tube container that I got from... Um, I don't know where I ordered it. 
But uh, with my big old hands, that thing was not going to work for me. And uh, Tammy will really, really, really get a lot more use out of it than I would did. So yeah, Tammy, that box went out today. In fact, I talked to you when I was leaving the uh, post office. Yeah. 597. I'm really excited to start this canvas. The colors. Oh god, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I'm just cutting those open over the garbage can. And I barely even cut the corner of the <laughs> bags. So I'm sitting here having to do... Um... My grandmother always referred to this as a chicken squish. <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah, it's like tonight, I, I can't eat anything after 10 o'clock. I have to be at the hospital, like I said, at 4.45 in the morning. It's just like, oh, yuck. But once again, I do want to say thank you to all of you. Uh, so many of you have, you know, sent me uh, well wishes and... Uh, Larry Yance, hopefully you're doing good with your... Uh, Larry had surgery not too long ago on his ankle. He broke his ankle. So uh, hopefully he's back um, to normal soon. I mean, yeah. What does normal mean? And why do we want to be normal? <laughs> yeah, it's like... I don't know. If I could be... Oh, here's one of the ABs. Gorgeous color. Ooh, that's really, really pretty. AB, AB 3756. Wow. That's going to be like um, in the... Uh, in the moon, I think, or in the sky, the, night, the, the nighttime sky. So... Uh, yeah, here's AB3756. It's color number 35 in my palette. So I was talking to Laura, uh, Crafty Chef Diamond. Yesterday I got to chat to her for a little bit. Talked to Jack over at Diamond Painting with Jack. Like I said, I talked to Debbie uh, Cajun. Um, who else did I just... Oh, I was talking to... Not, not talking to, but uh, I was watching Maritza over at Kiss My Crafts. That woman, that woman just cracks my butt up. Cracks me up. Yes, <laughs> she does. Uh, I wanted to say... Oh, God, I was going to... Tell somebody uh, happy birthday today. And I, oh, Mona, uh, Mona Rodriguez, it's her birthday today. So uh, happy 30th birthday. God, I remember when I was 30. <laughs> yeah, I remember when I was 30. <laughs> I was still living in Seattle. Let's do 3072. Yeah, I, I can't believe that, um, like I said the other day, um, I, I was telling um, a bunch of you that I like to listen to audiobooks while I diamond paint. And um, somebody texted me, well, Tammy told me yesterday, she's like, Richard, have you read uh, Di Demon... Copperback. It's not a horror book. It's not a horror story, 
but it's a coming of age story by Barbara Kingsolver. And uh, I recognize the author's name. Um, I've seen many, 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 many books by her um, on my, you know, because I have a booktube channel. So um, I do get a lot of, uh, you know, book emails and what people are reading through my Goodreads channel. And uh, I've never read anything by Barbara Kingsolver, but um, Tammy told me, Richard, you've got to read this book. Tammy's daughter had read it and told Tammy about it. And uh, I did. I've had it. I've had it uh, <laughs> loaded and opened in my Libby account. So I did do that. I haven't started listening to it, though. So, um, yeah. So I'm going to finish kidding this up, everybody. Um, I just want to tell everybody again, thank you so much for stopping by taking time out of your day to watch and uh, listen to what I had to share with all of you. Uh, Kelly Cyberling, one more time, thank you so much for the spooky, scary tree. That was nice of you. Um, and Kelly, yes, I have something for you. I just have to uh, get it packaged, but uh, it probably will not happen now till after <laughs> surgery. So, uh, once again, everybody, I'm Richard with Real Men Craft 2. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, ring that little bell. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to finish this kidding up. And I'm going to start working on this canvas just a little bit tonight. Because um, I do have to go to bed pretty early. But uh, take care, everybody. I'm Richard with Real Men Craft 2. Now I feel like Laura over at Crafty Chef Diamond Show is just this. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Take care, you guys. I'll see you in the next video.